Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number nine here. Um, so we're looking to solve these two equations here um, using a graphical method in order to solve them. So the first thing we know, we've got two variables here. We have H and D, um, which really could just represent the same as being Y and X. Um, and we know both of these equations are quadratics. So um, we have an option to use our TI calculator, which is the graphing calculator. Um, the only um, drawback with the graphing calculator is for several, um, several types of equations, um, the precision in which you can visually see the plot um, is often not very good. So it can be really hard to find um, the coordinate pairs in what you're in for the solution, what you want to find. So to what we are going to do with these two questions is we're going to plot both of these equations using an alternate graphing tool um, that's a little bit higher resolution and a little bit easier to use. Um, so there's a little bit less uh, manipulation that you have to, uh, to worry about. And uh, this is a tool that you can also use um, whenever you're using, uh, doing any of the quizzes or uh, the tests, you can just open it up in a second tab um, and it'll help you um, essentially take the mechanics out of the plotting so that it'll help you figure out what the math is. Okay, so the, uh, the tool that I'm gonna use is something called Desmos and you can get it as an app for most smartphones. Um, it also is a web tool, so you can just go to the, the website desmos.com and what you are given is basically a, um, essentially this is like a TI calculator, um, but it's much easier to use in terms of how we, um, we set it up. So on the side, you're just gonna be given a, uh, a graph and then there's a, uh, a set of cells here on the, on the left where you can type in your equations. So all you have to understand is that we're just using two variables, X and Y are the traditional variables. So we're just gonna substitute those in. So our first equation is was H is equal to negative 0 0.002 D squared plus three D. So we can say that is the same as Y is equal to um, negative um, 0 0.002. Uh, and then the D is the same as the X. And then we can square it and then we can go plus uh, 0 0.3 X. Okay, so that's gonna be one of our equations that we plot. And then to plot the second equation, you just go to the cell below it and we're gonna type Y equals negative 0.004 X squared um, plus 0.5 X. Okay, and then, uh, oh, we missed the equal sign there. So I'm just gonna put in the equals. And then right away the system or the, the application will start to plot it. So the first question says, at what height is the ball, the, at, at what distance is the ball the same height when either of the clubs is used? So if we um, just hide the equations there, you can just tap the little icon there to the side and I'm gonna scale out. So that's by tapping the minus sign. Okay, and then I can use and pan over and what I am looking for is where do these two parabolas, now they're quite broad parabolas, where do they intersect? So if I can see where they cross right here. And actually if you tap on it, it'll actually accurately describe the point. So the X axis is our distance and the Y axis is our height. So at a hundred meters or a, yeah, this is set up in meters at a hundred meters, the ball is going to be 10 meters into the air. So that's the solution that you would get um, for the question to that answer. So if we flip back to the, the question, okay, at what distance is the ball in the same height when either of the clubs is used? Okay, so we can say at 100 meters, the height was 10 meters, all right? And so that's an easy way to, to, to solve for those two equations um, where we are using the Desmos dot com graphing tool. Okay, so I'd highly um, suggest that um, you look at this uh, this tool. It's it's actually quite much, it's much easier to use than the, than the TI graphing calculator and you'll be able to use this on any tests or quizzes. You can just open it up um, in another tab and off you go. You don't even need a, a login to sign in. Okay, so that's how you could do question number nine using um, the Desmos tool.